For some installations where things are poorly labelled, trying to trace circuits and equipment to the fuse or circuit breaker that protects and controls them can be a tough job, usually requiring a lot of patience, especially if the building occupier doesn't want you to cause disruption by switching circuits on and off. So whether you're undertaking periodic inspection and testing, fault finding, or even just identifying circuits on a poorly labelled distribution board, you can't beat having a fuse finder such as the Martindale FD650. The FD650 comprises of a transmitter and a detector, which can also serve as a handy voltage indicator and is CAT4 rated to 600 volts. The transmitter can be connected to either a socket outlet using the plug provided or to other circuits using the crocodile clip leads. Once the transmitter is connected and is working, the detector can be set to find and proved against the transmitter. It's important to ensure that the green battery LED is continuously illuminated. The FD650 has both a manual and automatic threshold mode for locating circuit protective devices. Let's look at the manual mode first. At the distribution board, just run the detector along the fuses or circuit breakers at a right angle, like this. When the red LED displays the strongest signal, pressing the set button will adjust the sensitivity of the detector. Running the device along the protective devices again will confirm the device protecting your circuit, as this is the only one that should cause the red LEDs to illuminate. To use the automatic mode, after the indicator has been turned on by setting to find and proved against the transmitter, press and hold the set button for two seconds. When the red mode light comes on, this means the automatic threshold mode is active. At the distribution board, run the indicator along the circuit breakers you wish to check. On the first pass, the device is monitoring for the highest level and will not necessarily display any indication of signal. However, when run back across the distribution board, ensuring that uniform proximity to the protective devices is maintained, so that the threshold does not reset, then only the device protecting the circuit being traced will illuminate the bar graph. For final confirmation, the circuit breaker can be switched off, which will cause the transmitter to stop operating.